everyone. I'm back here by the Berry Paint Center to talk about how third, fourth, and fifth graders get to use the materials. Let's review what we have back here first. In this area we have brushes and there are different size brushes. You want to keep them with their friends. And new this year, when you are washing your brushes out, we noticed that just swirling them in the paint cups or the water cups is not really doing the job. So what I want you to do is bring them back to the sink with you, especially these thicker ones, and run them under the water like this so that the water can get inside the bristles and rinse out any extra water. Just a reminder, brushes need to be returned with their hair up. When they don't and they're put in upside down, the bristles bend. Did you know that? They bend. And when they bend, it's really hard to get them to go straight again. So keep them hair up, keep them with like brushes. The water cups are located over here. When filling water cups, fill them half full. Do not fill them all the way up to the top because from the sink all the way up to the classroom is a really long walk. So make sure that we're not splooshing around. Palettes are over here. And if you are using the paint on the top, which we'll talk about in a minute, you're gonna to want to put some of the paint into palettes so that you don't take the entire bottle with you. There is temper paint. This is what I usually use with the younger learners. You probably remember this. You can use this if you need um, some paint really quick. So there's tempera, but then there's also watercolor. And watercolor's a better quality paint. Watercolors looks like this. So using a wet brush, you can get a lot of beautiful stuff done with watercolor. All right, let's talk about up here now because this is, this is new this year and that's probably really exciting. Everything on this level, this is temper paint, okay? And so you wanna always look for the label that says tempera. Tempera is open for third, fourth, and fifth graders to use. The top shelf, the labels are a little differently. Top shelf is acrylic. Acrylic is only for fifth grade. And the general rule of thumb is acrylic paint does not wash out of your, your clothes. Um, it will wash off your skin, but it really is tricky to get off. Um, also, if you're using acrylic, you need to wash your brushes like extra, extra good. So that's why it's for fifth grade only. But everyone can use the tempera. When you are using this, your goal is to think about what colors do you need at this moment, not to get a little bit of every single color in the rainbow because you only have maybe 30, 35 minutes to paint in class, considering you know there's time for directions, time for setup, time for cleanup. And so when you come get paint, you wanna just get the essentials and just get a little bit. So I'm gonna show you you don't want to get very much. You wanna start small. You can always add more, but if you fill every single one of these wells and then you only have time to paint just a little bit, all of this is getting rinsed down the drain and it's a waste. So just a little bit will do, right? When you are done, you will rinse this out in the sink and I have a video to show you how to do that. Make sure it's dry, return to the shelf, your brushes should be rinsed and everything should be put away. It's a little extra setup when you use the painting center, but it's worth it because you get this new material and you get to do some amazing things with it. So congratulations on using the paint center. I'm excited to see what kind of beautiful paintings you're going to make.